adults. We're just a crazy Canuck family that sold our farm and bought a sailboat with no sailing experience. Join, Join us. us on our sailing adventure. the big uh, cruise ships come in. With the shorter days, we knew we'd be pushing uh, getting to the Berry Islands with a 65 nautical mile journey, but, which is why we left at 3.30 in the morning, but we didn't quite make it, and the sun is setting, but the islands are within sight. It just means that we're going to be anchoring in the dark in an unknown anchorage.
we are coming up on Great Stirrup K, where a lot of the uh, cruise ships have private islands and uh, make stops in their journeys for, for their guests. It's the very tip of the Berry Islands, and we still have about another hour and a hour and a half to go before we get to our anchorage for the night. Right. And tomorrow we will look at trying to get the water maker working, but that'll be tomorrow's project. Good morning. It is December 10th, I think. Maybe the only 11th, but, uh, but we left Florida in the past 48 hours, we arrived in the Grand Bahamas at the West End to check in. Yes. Dirty? No, the day before. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we left and anchored near uh, the port city of Freeport, just outside. We left at 3 o'clock yesterday morning to come to the Berry Islands. And we arrived here last night in the dark at the very tip of the Berry Islands. We are near Stirrup K and Goat Island. Um, I'll uh, turn you around. Uh, turn you around and get the view. Decompress. We can pray about the issues. <laughs> it's like one of the solar panels, we didn't catch it in time. May or may not have damaged the batteries. <sighs> so there's a solar panel that probably needs to be replaced. Batteries that are new aren't even a year old yet. of off-grid living. Oh dear. 
Panoptic's not working. Of course, the autopilot's not still not working. But that's been an ongoing issue for several months. As I was reminded yesterday, thankfully we have a lot of hands. So two hour shifts is what we'll do when we're on passage. Everybody rotates every couple of hours. Scotty's up. He's our early bird. He is. Are you working on your book? Sort of. Sort of. Alrighty. Time to get some breakfast. That's it for now. <laughs> this is the main part of my water maker, the osmosis system and Clark pump. We sucked up some stuff we shouldn't have that got past all the filters and damaged the membrane of the filter, so we replaced that. But it also looks like our Clark pump took some damage. We own a Cape Horn Extreme. It's a 12 volt water maker. Has two pumps. It'll run with either pump uh, and 12 volts. I can pretty much run it with any system running on my boat, which is why I picked it. It doesn't produce a lot of water; only about 10 gallons an hour. A little more when it's new. But the point is, I don't have to have my generator running to make it work. But it's not producing product. I've had the tech out. We worked on a bunch of other problems because I. I made the mistake of running it in the river, which caused some particles to get through to the membrane. He also thinks the particles scratched what's called a Clark pump. Because this doesn't have a high pressure pump, it uses a Clark pump to produce the high pressures needed to force the water through the membrane. So he's pretty sure I've scratched it, and I unfortunately can't afford to pay him to do the work himself. But I have the equipment, so we're going to take off the Clark pumps. We're going to check each one and see if there is a scratch inside the cylinder, which is allowing the pressure to get free instead of being forced out. And if that's the problem, we will hone it down very carefully. And hopefully have our water maker running again. Just going to work on one side at a time. Got to be very careful. This side's plastic. This down. If you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The elbow that's down is plastic. Oh yeah. Why you have it on the towel? The towel is to help protect the table. That too. That's the point. Recording. Check out this blue, blue water. So, so beautiful.
morning. Our friend on SV42 are meeting up with us. Lori and Scott are the nicest people you could ever hope to meet. Over the next week, they would provide us morning and evening with water. Uh, the boys would go over uh, with the water jugs, fill them up and bring them back and pour them into our water tank. And you know, we were just, we're just grateful. And despite all of the troubles, and God continues to be so good. for watching and if you liked what you saw give us a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads also visit us on our website at www.svsomuchmore you'll see some more great content read our blogs and hey join our crew thanks so much till next time